very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking the very first thing I want to share with you is how happy and proud I am of the results of the Permimi group signals for the last week since the beginning of September we were able to deliver more than 1560 pips of profit we only had five losses against 25 wins that is really outstanding performance uh, we also ended two days of them with no losses at all. That was a pure profit for those who have joined the premium group signals. Uh, we ended 4th September with more than 550 pips of profit alone. But uh, not only that, some of them hit take profit 3 and 2. So notice that if you accept only take profit 1, which is most of the clients doing, you would have ended the day with more than 200 pips of profit. And that is outstanding performance. And let me tell you something, my friends. Sometimes it's just not about the money. It's about that warm feeling you have in your heart when you are really able to help others and deliver the best quality of signals they really trusted you for. Uh, these messages from the members are what I'm talking about. These what making me really happy from inside my heart. Seeing these messages from the uh, clients first day of trading with the extreme trading, uh, trading signals, he's so happy with the results. This guy also, he's saying, oh my God, Angela, I don't believe what happened to my account. It's growing. Never ever I have ever, ever received so much profit. Uh, this guy also, he's thanking Angela for what he have learned in my channel. And great signals today, Angela. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Angela. Really thank you for this outstanding performance. And thank you for keeping up uh, the brand name Extreme Trader up to the expectation as I really wanted. If you wish to join the Signals group, my friends, please feel free to contact Angela. You can find her uh, Telegram details in the description of this video. Join today because we are expecting really good signals on next week because it seems to be really promising and we are expecting a lot of setups. See you there, my friends, and thank you. So let's now move to the main subject of this video, which is the weekly market analysis. Uh, first of all, again, we need to start with the Euro USD, and I want to share with you how the Euro USD went down all the way to the support level and reversed exactly on the same level I have mentioned that it will reverse on 1.09266. That's a really good sign. So the Euro USD has finally reversed on the weekly chart. Now let's go to the daily chart, and what we can see here is that we have a price action of a, bull, uh, a bearish reversal. So now it's expected that the market will continue to go down. But the question, is it safe to sell the EURUSD? I really doubt it. Don't sell the EURUSD at all right now. We have to wait for it to reach this support level before we actually start buying the EURUSD. And I believe it will be safe option to keep our buy order from this support level all the way to this resistance right here. Now again, we are analyzing this on the daily candles, so that might take really long time. Let's now move to the 4-hour chart. And again, we see here the price action of a strong, a strong bearish reversal. So the market seems to be going down. But again, I have to tell you, don't sell your, the EURUSD uh, at the moment. So where is the good point to start buying the EURUSD? Well, since it has reversed on the weekly candles on a support level, that means we can expect another attempt of this support here. So... It will be a better idea if we wait for the EURUSD to come down all the way to the support level on 1.09634. At this point, it will be safe to start buying the EURUSD and we can keep our position all the way to this resistance on uh, 1.11457. So it might take some time, maybe I think one day or two days for the EURUSD if it will keep its bearish momentum to reach the support level. Uh, let's now use some trend line understanding so we can know if our entry will be correct or not. So I will copy this uh, resistance trend line and I will apply it right here. And exactly, that is exactly what I'm talking about. Yes, it seems like the Euro USD will continue falling down all the way, I think, to this point or this point here, and then it's going to reverse and continue going more up. So Euro USD good for buy on the level 1.09634 so we have to wait for the right moment before we buy the euro usd let's now go to the pound the pound has moved also as i expected uh, almost because i said 
that the euro that the pound USD should be good to start buying from this support level however it went down a little bit before uh, below the support and again reversed and continue to go more up as I said the pound seems to be going up and indeed it went up and I believe it won't stop until it reached the same level of this previous support here after the breakout here happened so we can expect that the pound might fall a little bit more down on the same level of this support level before it actually start continue its bullish, uh, bullish momentum and it will go more up so again this is daily candles let's check out the four hour candles and yes now it seems actually more clear uh, it seems like the, Euro, the pound USD is indeed making a bearish momentum it's going down let's just be sure how far it's gonna keep going down I believe it will reverse on this uh, support level right here we have here a support and here as well so it seems like it will go down to the level 1.22108 and it will keep its uh, bullish momentum all the way until this level of 1.24125 that will be your point to exit your trade and hopefully it's gonna give us some profit uh, let me tell you something the pound I'm expecting it to reverse at this point right it might actually go a little bit down to the support level I don't believe it will exceed this point and it should actually reverse right on the support level because even on daily candles we can see how strong this level as a support and also as a resistance most likely is this is what gonna happen uh, sorry uh, let me rephrase that we are talking about this level now so this level was also strong as a support right here and right here so most likely the pound USD will reverse on this level and it might go a little bit down to this level but I suggest that you keep your position or enter with very small lots because it might go actually a lot uh, down before it starts shooting up and go more uh, not that much sorry not that much it will go up only until this previous support right here so pound USD good for buy only on the support level of 1.22108 keep your trade until it hit the level of 1.24086 okay so let's now check the AUD USD AUD USD as I said exactly it kept the bullish momentum after hitting the support exactly as I said I told you that the, the AUD USD it might go a little bit down to hit the support level and in the end it will go up and it really went uh, up indeed to hit this previous resistance so now what is the expectation from the AUD USD let's check the weekly chart so we can see uh, that was nice scalping by the way should have bought it actually anyway uh, let's see where we can expect the AUD USD to reverse and go more up now if you are following my hit and run strategy we can expect that the euro USD sorry the AUD USD might reverse at this point exactly or actually you know something uh, let's check the daily candles first yes the daily candles can confirm that this is indeed the right level it's exactly right here yes so there is a chance because now the AUD USD has hit here a previous support level on daily candles so it actually might be going down but again I never advise to sell the AUD USD at this point because the bullish momentum is very strong we better wait for it to reverse a little bit down retesting this level of the broken support and then we can buy AUD, AUD USD again and I'm expecting it to, re to reverse and go up all the way to hit this previous support right here especially we are seeing a lot of rejections at the support zone it doesn't seem that AUD USD is going down at all but the question is where should we buy it so this is the level 0 0.67631 is good to start buying the AUD USD and keep your trade until it hit the resistance on 0 0.6951 that should be fine so yeah that is my analysis for the AUD USD hopefully it will be good let's go to the USD CAD USD CAD however uh, it reversed on this resistance finally it was actually on the support level as I said uh, I told you USD CAD is not really safe to trade at all even if we analyze it with the buy order 
or sell it was stucking in a ranging market and that is totally not safe but I had to do the analysis anyway okay now let's see what happened uh, USD CAD has reversed and went down so what is the expectations from the USD CAD well I'm expecting it to little to go a little bit more down until it had this uh, same level of the support right let me just be more accurate as much as possible yes let me just use the Fibonacci just to be sure exactly it is on 61.8 that's great uh, let's use the trend line understanding like that just want to be sure and do the analysis right front of you so you can learn also and I believe yes just like that indeed indeed yes it is right uh, USD CAD seems to be going a little bit down for about 17 pips only and I think it will reverse on 1.31510 uh, that will be actually good level to start buying the USD CAD but please don't keep it for a long time let me just delete that so we can see don't keep it for a long time we can keep it only until it hit this uh, resistance right here right here but after that get out of your trade I'm not expecting the USD CAD to be going up uh, all the way to this resist uh, resistance at the moment it actually might go a little bit down like that before it bounces on this support so it will continue going up so again I'm expecting that the general movement of the USD CAD will be the following it will go down to this support level bouncing a little bit up hitting this previous resistance and then it will go down hitting this support level before it actually starts shooting up to hit this previous resistance so it's better idea if you just wait for the USD CAD to reach this support level buy it and then exit your trade exactly on this resistance don't overextend don't keep your trade uh, longer than that let's check now the USD GPY now the USD GPY also has moved exactly last week as I predicted it exactly removed on this uh, sorry reverse on this support and exactly also reverse on the same level of the previous support here look at that the candles just touched this level and then reversed exactly as I mentioned wow that's nice so anyway what is now the next thing well I believe that the USD GPY is gonna fall a little bit down as well but not immediately uh, we can see that the market has reversed on this previous support so we can expect that the candles will go a little bit more up to make another attempt to break this uh, previous support I don't think it's gonna succeed and we can expect the, the USD GPY to fall down again to this support level right here so wait for the USD GPY to go a little bit more up before you can start selling it on the level one uh, 107 and 200 and keep your position exactly the reverse of the last week keep your position until 105.833 uh, don't keep your trade longer than that because the USD GPY is kind of tricky at the moment because it's ranging on the support zone sorry about that I'm trying to get rid of it uh, my PC just freezed okay good so the USD GPY as I said now is ranging on this uh, support zone so don't keep your trade so longer than that so again it's good for sell on 107.200 now let's check the USD CHF USD CHF is also seems to be bouncing on this resistance level we can see that we have the attempt number one two and three and the market doesn't seem to be able to break from this resistance now the USD CHF is stuck on the same level of this resistance as well allow me to draw the line by the way USD CHF has went up again as I told you or actually sorry went down I told you to sell here and keep your trade until here that is great and I'm so happy for it anyway uh, USD CHF is now stuck on this resistance right here remember I'm on the daily chart go to the four hour chart and we can see that we had here a resistance has been broken out and this resistance kept its position as a resistance and we have also this uh, good pin bar indicating that the market should be good for sell so it's gonna be a good idea to start selling the USDCHF actually immediately because we are now on this resistance zone allow me just to show it to you we are now here on this resistance zone the market seems to be reversing on it so we can expect the USDCHF to go a little bit more up to hit this resistance level and then it's gonna reverse and continue going all the way down uh, I think it will continue going here to this support level but however 
don't keep your trade that long uh, better if you wait for the USDCH shift to, to reach this resistance and then keep your sell order only until the level of 0 0.98057 uh, I suggest if you wait for the USDCH shift to reach the level of uh, 0 0.98894 and then we can expect about 80 to 80 pips of profit and that should be good uh, opportunity for selling the USDCHF now let's check the gold the gold also has uh, almost moved uh, exactly as I uh, mentioned it reversed on this resistance it went a little bit up but eventually it reversed at the resistance and went all the way down to the support and what I said is it's going to continue falling until it hit this previous support so it's not really advised to do anything right now we have to wait for it to go a little bit more down because there is a chance that it will go a little bit up to hit this previous uh, resistance let me just show it to you right here so we can expect the pound uh, sorry the gold to go a little bit up hitting this previous resistance and then it will fall to hit this previous support I don't advise to keep your trade in the gold long time as you know that already so remember I'm on the four hour chart let me go to the daily just to confirm and on daily we can see that this bearish momentum is really strong uh, we can see this uh, wick here notice this wick here let's study it so this wick here look at that it has reversed on this resistance right here so we had here a resistance and this resistance kept its position as a resistance exactly right here so this wick here representing this resistance good so the market has went down indeed it doesn't seem the gold will go up until it hit this previous support if you wish to start selling gold right now that should be also fine but I would advise if you wait for it let me just be more clear here uh, I want to be accurate as much as possible so let me move to the one hour chart see what I can see maybe I'm missing something uh, I want you to be safe so I suggest let me just uh, be sure my friends just uh, no I don't want to, be, to pause the video because I want this video to be also educational so we are seeing here that we had this resistance and also we had this resistance here which was also a strong support in the past so this is a strong level as a support and resistance meaning we can start but yeah but the problem we can see how the market was ranging at the same level it's not respecting it so what is the right thing to do it's better if you want to be safe to not actually do anything with the gold at the right moment wait to for, right, wait for the right moment to see if the gold will go a little bit more up to this point like that then we can start selling the gold actually it will be much more safe if we start selling gold at this resistance right here and we can keep the position all the way until the, uh, the level 1500 sorry 1496 so we can sell the gold and 1000 sorry we can sell the gold at 1518 keep the position until 1496 but again there is a high chance that the gold will, will immediately go down to hit the support level if it does that then don't do anything with the gold because it's really not safe why it's not safe because we have so many attempts of the support level right here on this level so we cannot predict what the market is gonna do at the fifth attempt of this support here it's dangerous I don't uh, advise it however again wait for the gold if it will ever go up here to this level uh, 1518 then it will be safe to sell the gold if it doesn't go up then don't do anything with the gold but if you are really the type of trader who wish, who wish to enter and take his uh, chances and be risky you can start selling the gold immediately because right now also here we are on a resistance level as you can see we have here resistance level and we can see that the bouncing happened on this uh, support so this resistance has become a support but this bearish momentum is so strong look at that how the gold is falling so I don't think uh, the bulls will win this battle it seems like the birds are winning it so it seems like gold will be going down and you can take your chances if you want uh, if I were you in your position 
I will just wait for the goal to reach this uh, level of 1518 then I will start selling it but uh, in general I advise to avoid trading gold so however that was my weekly analysis my friends I really hope you will uh, use it and I hope it will help you in the next week to make a lot of profits until then I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching